Hello, my name is Melissa from the Kokomo Howard County Public Library, and I'm here today to show you how to create a community profile. The community profile in our new WISE catalog allows you to create multiple lists and write reviews on the books you read. Everyone using our catalog can add books to a wish list, but if you want to have custom lists tail tailored to your own interests, you'll need to create a community profile. The first thing you need to do to create your community profile is log in to your library account. You can do this by going to www.khcpl.org and then clicking our login button over here in the upper right hand corner. Enter your library card number and your password and that will take you into your library account. From here, you need to go to this menu in the upper right hand corner for your account and say create a community profile. If you do not have an email in your library account, you'll be prompted to add an email. You cannot create a community profile without an email address attached to your account. To add that email, you just go to the general customer details right here and it will take you to the place to add your email. Once you've added your email and clicked save, you should be able to go back up here to this upper menu and click create a community profile again. From here, you get the terms and conditions for creating a community profile. Once you have read over those terms, you can check the box and click agree. At this point, you get to choose your nickname. Now, nicknames don't have to be your actual name. They can be whatever you would like them to be. Once you've chosen your nickname, if it's a valid nickname, it will appear right here with this green indicator saying that the nickname is valid and you can use it. Once you do that, you can click Submit. Now you are ready to access your community profile. To add a book to a custom list, you will search for the book title. You can also search for subjects like crocheting or for music or um, any subject that you like, but we're going to do a book list today. So I found the book I want and I want to add this to my list of books that have the word library in them. So I can just add it to my wish list without a community profile, but I want to create a custom list. So I'm going to click this add to new list and now I'm going to name my list. It does require that you add some form of description. The description does not have to be elaborate. You can put whatever you want in there. So I'm just going to say add to new list. And now I can view my list, which only has one book. So if I want to add more books to that list, I can just type in a, a, a search item. And here's a book called the library book. It's a very good book. We're going to add that. And you see that list is the first one that comes up. Or I can either add it to that list, I could add it to my wish list, or I could create a whole new list if I wanted to. I can just click add and that book will now appear in my list. I can go down this list of books that I searched for and I can just add any of the books that I would like to add. Now at this time, you can't add eBooks to your custom lists in uh, community profiles, but we hope that sometime in the future we'll be able to add those as well. If you want to return to your community profile to maybe look at one of your other lists, you can do that by either clicking up here under name and choosing your community profile name or by clicking on your list by name right there and you can see we're back to the lists. Now this is a community profile, which means your list could be shared. You control the privacy settings though. 
So to start out, I'd like to show you what it looks like if somebody finds your list on our site. So we see the list that we created here, the library books, but now I'm logged out, so I can't see my individual details. If I click on Supernatural Guy right here, you will see that you can see his list. But if you go to Details, you will see that Supernatural Guy keeps their details private. Now, that is the default setting. If you want people to see your name because maybe you have a friend who likes following your lists, you can change that. It's in your control, but the default setting is set so that people can't see your information. So to change that, you sign into your account and you go to settings, and then you can change it so that everyone can see your name. We're gonna hit save. If you had any details about yourself in this About Me section, if you've added any, they'll be able to see that as well as your name too once uh, you've changed these settings. As you could tell from the previous uh, screen, you couldn't see anything about the person because they kept all their details private. So we're gonna go log out again, and we're gonna go to Supernatural Guy and show the details. And now you can see that Supernatural Guy's name is Dean Winchester. And you could see that Dean here is a Supernatural fan. So you set the privacy settings and it's important for you to remember that. The default will be that they are off. So the only thing people will see about you is your community profile name. If you have any questions about the community profiles, please feel free to contact the library either by email or by phone or by visiting us at any of our locations. I hope this helps you create community profiles and I hope you enjoy creating custom lists for your favorite books and items. Thank you.